My name is Mara. I am on a journey to peel away the clutter from my house and from my master bedroom right now. <laughs> That's where I am at. I'm in the master bedroom. Here is the pile that I am looking at. It is lots of clothes and mostly leggings. So I decided I'm going to tackle the leggings today. I remembered that I had a drawer of leggings in this bureau. It has five drawers in it and the top one is socks and underwear. The second one is t-shirts. This one is leggings, the third one. And then I thought, well, what is in these bottom two? I just wasn't sure. More leggings. More leggings. <laughs> in both this one and the one underneath. So <laughs> considering I didn't even know what was actually in these drawers, you can guess that I have not been wearing these leggings. You might think that that would mean I could just easily let these go because I didn't know they were there, so I didn't miss them, but no, we're not a channel about easily letting go of stuff. <laughs> so basically what we have here on the bed right now is just what was in the drawer. So I need to add the leggings also that are from <laughs> this pile. I've been doing tons of laundry. As you walk in the door, which is to my right, if I were to just turn right, I could walk outside the door basically. So I've been putting clean clothes in this pile here and behind the door is where I've been putting the clothes that need to be washed. <laughs> so eventually after doing, you know, clothing for days upon days, I will get to the bottom of this. It will not be today, but I am going to talk about how I ended up with enough leggings to clothe a medium-sized army. You may have heard of a company called LuLaRoe. <laughs> there is actually a documentary about this company, which I haven't watched, but I know a lot of the accusations and such. But I got into the company as a buyer somewhere in like 20. 15, 2016. What happened was I am a longtime scrapbooker and one of the scrapbookers that I followed on YouTube started a business as like a consultant because it's a mar multi-level marketing group, LuLaRoe is. And so I thought I'll support her. I'll buy these leggings that everyone's talking about. So I saw a pair and I thought, okay, they're cute. I'll point them out when we get to it. The leggings came and I was like, these are not even going to fit. But <laughs> then they stretched and stretched and stretched and they were so comfortable on. So yeah, that did it. <laughs> I remember thinking that I hadn't bought new clothes for quite a while and I deserve new clothes. And that's kind of famous last words for me. Anytime I'm like, I deserve X in my life, I go overboard and buy everything. Let me pause in my storytelling to tell you what I'm doing. I was like, I am going to get overwhelmed with these. Okay, these snake leggings are some of my absolute favorites. So those are staying. Okay, back to how I am sorting them. <laughs> I decided I would sort them into different categories. So I have like a pile of animal themed leggings. As you can see, that is turning out to be a pretty big pile. I've got some Valentine's themed leggings. I have some unicorns leggings. <laughs> I have some photography leggings. In the very back, I have three piles. Poor Clay. <laughs> He's like, what is going on on this bed, mother? <laughs> so on the 
far right in the back are the ones that I'm keeping. In the middle are ones that I am kind of iffy about. On the far left in the back are the ones that I am letting go. So back to the story, I bought my first pair of leggings and I was like, oh, these are so comfortable. I've never felt anything so comfortable. <laughs> and then I started looking at more groups and joining more consultant groups on Facebook. And I was in zillions of groups and, and my ADD kicked in hard because with ADD, I just am like, whatever new shiny thing is going to give me that rush of adrenaline, that is what I want to do. All right, so we're going to have a pause here. <laughs> you might look at these mimes and think these are obvious ones that need to be gotten rid of, right? No, they are staying. Like, I'm not saying that they'll ha you'll have to pry them out of my cold dead hands but like if you were to wrap them around me in my coffin as like a scarf I wouldn't be mad I wouldn't be mad I don't know what it is about the mimes they are beyond weird <laughs> I realize that and lots of these leggings I think people would be embarrassed to be seen with me in <laughs> But those are my favorite ones. <laughs> okay, so back to the whole adrenaline rush thing. Because you would you would be in this frenzy. Because people, the consultant would post their inventory or they would do a video. And so you would rush in to be the first to say sold. And uh, yeah, so that really just fueled my whole you know, the thrill of the hunt, the thrill of the chase, the thrill of the acquisition, like totally drove me further and further and further. I look at this pile and I'm like, I spent a ridiculous amount of money on it. I mean, I look back on it and I really have regrets. <laughs> I don't even want to think about how much money was spent on these. I mean, I know how much I paid for each one. And I can kind of get a sense of how many I have here. And this isn't you know, even all of them. Here's the thing about regrets, though. Like, even a year ago, I would have just been lost in the regret. Too bogged down with shame to even think about going through and sorting them and going through them. Okay, let's pause to talk about some of these leggings because I'm keeping these because <laughs> because it's a fingerprint pattern that was used to make the heart, so it appeals to my true crime heart there. These leggings, it was hard to let go of because I bought some matching ones for my sister and my niece who were living with me at the time. I know that the memory is not going to go away, but there's still just that extra sadness that came about letting it go. As you can see, I'm having dilemmas there. I thought I'll decide between those two later. So now we are getting to the unicorns. <laughs> oh my goodness. So... I decided that the small, kind of straight on unicorns I didn't need, but the cute unicorns mixed in with the donuts I did need. <laughs> that one I'm keeping. Those are going in the maybe pile. Yeah. And I'm realizing, no, I do not need every single camera pair of leggings that there was in the world. Really, the blue ones are all I need, but those pink ones are so cute, so they went into the maybe pile. Oh, it's hard. <laughs> Moving on to florals. Okay, we were talking about regret. The thing about regret is that all we have is today. A few years ago, I would have just gotten lost in the whole shame of having spent all this money. But the fact is, the money is already spent. There's nothing I can do to change that. 
And I spent a lot of years living in regret over a lot of things. And I've come to decide that regret is useless unless you use it to fuel positive change. So when I think, okay, I regret how much I spent. All right, well, <laughs> think twice before buying another pair of leggings. I don't need any more <laughs> leggings. And if I feel like I want to go into a spending spiral again, I need to think twice about that. <laughs> but do not use regrets to shame yourself or to blame yourself because that doesn't help. It just makes you feel worse. At least it did for me. It made me feel worse and left me like more prone to buying. Oh, okay. These sharks also perfect, perfect pair. So the ADD really fueled me into buying these more collectible pairs because some of these patterns were very highly sought after and people really, really wanted them. And it gave me some pride, I guess, to feel like I had this collection that people would really like and that people would be envious of. And there's something about that, like looking back on it, I felt pretty empty inside at that time. I didn't feel like I was a worthy person or a worthwhile person. Poor Clay has been putting up with so much in this like <laughs> crazy piles. <laughs> Once I put him down on the floor, he was like, we am out of here. <laughs> Don't worry though, he'll be back. Basically, I was shopping to fill this void that I felt and I didn't know how to fill it. And I thought shopping would help me fill it and it didn't because it can't. Eventually, the adrenaline of the score, the, the adrenaline that you get in that great find goes away. And then you're still left with yourself who feels this deep void that you that no amount of shopping can fill you have to fill it you have to fill it with love for yourself and with belief in yourself and with kindness for yourself also during this time i was having some work woes and a very close friend of mine moved away. If you're watching, you're still a jerk for that. And so when the ADD rush didn't work, I would shop to try and feel something because I just felt numb and depressed all the time. Now, what stopped this? <laughs> you might be thinking, oh, she learned that she was a great person and she developed that great self-love and she figured out that she deserved better. No, I ran out of money. I ran out of money and I realized that I was surrounded by piles of clothes. I'm sad to be letting the crowns go. I am a queen nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> but with some of these, well, I'm absolutely keeping the Frankenstein's monster <laughs> and my pizza ones, the pizza leggings. Yes, keeping. I ran out of money and as I did and started looking at all of the clothes that I had, I realized it was kind of like I came awake out of a fog. It really was. I came awake out of the fog and I was like, I need to wear what I've got. <laughs> I have so many leggings and many of them I haven't even worn, which is really sad. But anyway, I have been off the LuLaRoe train for several years now 
And I'm glad about that. Every now and then I'll see something and be like, oh, well, that looks cute. And then I'm like, no, girl, look in your bedroom. Look in your bedroom. <laughs> you need to shop the clothes you have. <laughs> So yeah, these I'm sad about losing too, but yeah, some of the leggings have stretch and then there's like stretch and the ones that are just stretchy, they aren't going to fit me like they just aren't. So I was able to let go of some by realizing that they just aren't going to fit me like these adorable giraffes. And anyway, my goal for this round is I'm really doing a first pass. I'm letting go of as much as I can and realizing that it's going to be hard to let go of some others and I don't have to do it all right away. If you're looking at my bed and thinking it looks kind of sad, I want you to know that the box that is right by Clay is a box that I got during Black Friday shopping. I bought myself some new bedding, so I will be getting that on the bed, replacing this ragged old bedding that I've had since I first moved into this house <laughs> six years ago, somewhere in there. So yeah, this will be replaced soon and it'll, yeah, it's, it's about time and I deserve it. But having said I deserve it, I'm not planning to go overboard like I did with the leggings. <laughs> Just FYI. <laughs> My sweet boy putting up with me as I'm throwing clothes around. All right, so I got a little overwhelmed with all of these leggings and I decided I needed to sort through something else. So instead, I'm just pulling out all of these shirts which are fresh from the laundry. Some of them you have probably seen from the last video, but they hadn't been washed at that point. So I threw them in the wash and now I am going through them. And I'm just putting them into the piles. There is the ones that are staying that I'm keeping on the right, the ones that are going on the left. Oh, here we are back to a brilliant camera angle. Gosh, I was doing so good. <laughs> but now you're getting these close-ups of my hair. Ugh. I couldn't decide on that rust-colored one, so I'm going to try that on and decide after that. Some I just really don't need to try on. I kind of know how they fit or if I like them or not. If I'm not clear on them, I'm hoping that trying them on is going to help some. Let's go ahead and talk about how it has been so far sorting in my bedroom versus in like the living room. I feel like there was more clutter in the living room, but it was easier to go through simply because so much of it was either trash or recycling. There is less obvious trash, at least so far. Don't worry, we'll get to <laughs> some areas that, that have it. But when I'm making decisions, they're just a little bit harder than maybe normally. With clothes, there is more of a likelihood that there is emotional attachment, sentimental attachment, that kind of thing. As I look at these piles, and especially the pile on the right, which is the keep pile, I... I'm thinking I still have too much in the stuff to keep. <sighs> but, you know, that's a problem for future me. For now, I'm really just whittling down what I've got. And I'm peeling away at the layers. And I'll just keep doing that once I get my closet system figured out. I will have a better idea of how much storage I've got or how much 
closet space I have. Here's a question I would love to hear from you in the comments. Do you have doors on your closet or have you removed the doors from your closet? I'm wondering if it might be helpful for me to remove the doors from mine. So it's something I am considering. If you have removed your doors, please tell me if you like it or if you regretted it and put them back up. I had to keep this little bit of clay <laughs> digging into the pile of clothes. Thank you for digging into the pile that is staying, my love. <laughs> What a good boy. Oh, so you can see I've got quite a pile here. In fact, it was so many that it wouldn't fit in the thread up bag. But I have, I have a handful more of those bags. I am going to continue to send some stuff to thread up, but I think I'm also going to just donate some stuff locally as well. I'm looking at this pile here and I'm thinking this could be the size of someone's like entire wardrobe. And this is just one part, <laughs> one part of my clothing adventure. Oh, I just can't even. I'm pretty proud of the pile that I am letting go. It's a, it's a sizable pile. And back to shots of my head. Sorry. Goodness. At least the pile that's going is bigger than the other one. <laughs> I can say that at least. We are almost to the end of this video. But fear not. There's always more to come. <laughs> Oh gosh, I can't even tell you how much laundry I'm doing. So here's the pile of leggings that is staying. These are the ones I want to keep. I'm keeping that one too. <laughs> that guy is not going anywhere. And here is the pile that is going out the door. It is on the way right now. I I don't know how long it will take to process the bag, so might be another month and a half before they go up on thread up, but oh well. Here I am taking the bag inside to be shipped. I'm planning to do a video at the end of all of the clothing to let you know what they took, what sold, all of that. So that'll be down the road a ways, but stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, here's what you get to look forward to. <laughs> this is right in front of the closet. Help. <laughs> Help me. <laughs>